video. Today we are doing another meal plan for weight loss. These are the most requested videos that I get on my channel. That's why I keep making them. I know I said in a video a while back that I didn't want to make these videos anymore, but I think I just got temporarily burnt out on them and now I'm really having a lot of fun doing them again. So we'll just continue on. One thing I want to mention before I begin this video is that for any of you that are struggling on your weight loss journey, I'm going to be at Chef AJ's Ultimate Weight Loss Expo. It's happening this year at the very end of August in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's a three-day event with tons of speakers and all the food that you can eat, learning how to lose weight on a whole foods plant-based diet. In addition to me, there will be a lot of other experts there talking about um, just like everything that you could ever imagine dealing with on a weight loss journey. I'm going to be talking a lot about self-love and my journey in general, but there will be people like Dr. Doug Lyle there talking about the emotional sides of weight loss and Chef AJ obviously talking about calorie density and an SOS free diet, all those kinds of things. So if you are struggling at all on your weight loss journey and you want some support and help, it's a huge event that tons of people come together every year to support each other and to reach their goals. So I will be there ready to meet you all. If you are interested at all, I'll leave all the information down below. You can get $100 off using my code, which I will leave in the description box for you guys. And I hope to see you there. So today we're gonna to be making a really simple meal plan that you can stretch out. I usually stretch out these kinds of meal plans for about three days. So I'll make three times the amount of food and then I'll eat it every day for three days because usually I get sick of food after about three days and I want something different. But I do find repetition is a big key here. <laughs> cat's playing with something again. But I find with weight loss, repetition really is key. So you wanna find some meals that you really enjoy and then you know bulk meal prep those meals and then repeat them for a few days and then move on to something else that you like. That's what works personally best for me because if I'm eating something different every single day, I'm having tons of different produce and tons of different things prepped in my fridge. Things always go bad. I hate it when food goes bad. So it drives me absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, I will typically only cook probably six or seven different things for an entire week and just eat that. So we'll jump into the recipes right now. As always, all the recipes, ingredients, and everything will be in the description box for you guys. So if you want exact quantities and all that stuff, check it out down below. Today for breakfast, we are going to be making chocolate strawberry oats. I know that I do a lot of oatmeal recipes on here, but oats are so versatile. They're so quick and easy to make. All we're going to do here is add our oats into a bowl, add our cocoa powder, stir it around a little bit, and then add our maple syrup in and stir that around again. I'm just adding in some hot water. Like I said, I really like to use instant oats and I highly recommend anybody out there who has a time crunch, who has work to get to or school to get to and doesn't have a lot of time to make breakfast, just go for the instant oats. They are a tiny bit more processed, but they still have the same nutritional value as all the other kinds of cut oats out there. And just save yourself some time and a little bit of sanity, get the good food in and get yourself some instant oats. I just added a little bit of coconut flakes on top of this and voila. For lunch, we're going to be making one of the most requested dishes that I get whenever I post this on Instagram. It's a cold potato salad. So first we need to steam some potatoes. The way that I do this every single time is I add a quart of water into my instant pot Put my steamer tray in there and then I put my potatoes in. So I like to use the red baby potatoes. They taste super creamy and I just put as many in here as I possibly can fit just because every time I make potatoes I'll just leave them in the fridge if I have extra and they'll be something that I can just cook up really fast. So I put those in my instant pot for 10 minutes and then we're just gonna take them out. What I'm doing here is I'm just gonna be chopping the potatoes into smaller bits in this little bowl because they're hot but what I've noticed making this recipe over time is that using the hot potatoes and making a dressing for it, it helps it to soak up more of the flavor and it just, it turns out so much better if you use hot potatoes. To make this dressing, we are going to need cashew butter, lemon juice, some garlic powder, a pinch of salt, and some black pepper to taste. 
just add a tiny bit of water into that and then stir that around until it becomes nice and creamy. Next we're going to add some veggies into this. I'm just using what I have on hand. Some chopped red bell pepper and some red onion. You can really use whatever you like in here. I've used tons of different things. I've used broccoli, I've put baby tomatoes in here, I put spinach in here sometimes or greens or steamed kale. Really whatever your taste preference is, just go for it. So we're going to add our dressing in and then toss it around. This potato salad is really, really good when it's cold. So you want to let it sit in your fridge for an hour or two, but it makes a super ideal thing to bring to work or school, especially if you don't have a way to heat up food and you just want something that's really refreshing. This is like your go-to work or school meal. For our dinner, we're going to be making some sweet potato sushi bowls. So here I'm just chopping up a few sweet potatoes. Like the normal potatoes, whenever I'm chopping and baking things, I just like to do as many as I can for leftovers and to throw into bowls and to throw into other meals. So I bake these in my air fryer on 360 degrees for 20 minutes and they turn out perfect just like this super golden creamy delicious all we're gonna be doing for this is adding some brown rice into a bowl this was something that I already also had pre-cooked which I highly recommend doing this just because if you have leftovers like all of this stuff in your fridge it's super easy to throw together bowls like this so you can really add whatever you want into this I have my sweet potatoes and then I chopped up two pieces of nori into small sheets put that on the side I had half an avocado sitting in my fridge but you could also add you know tofu or some type of tahini to this just drizzle some soy sauce over top and some sesame seeds and then I'm adding in some more bell pepper that I had and a little bit of cilantro So that is it for the meal prep today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any recipes that you would like to see meal prepped in these videos or if you have something that you try to like work into your diet. Um, I'm gonna do a few that are higher protein coming up because I have been eating a little bit more protein, trying to gain muscle and it's been working. But I've been doing that with whole foods mainly. I barely ever use protein powders or anything like that. So I'll be doing one of those soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you on the next one. My cat's again messing with stuff.